Hello guys welcome back to our anime explainer. Guys please like the video and subscribe to my channel thank you. Today is explanation of upcoming episode of Perfect World based on novel. So let's start. On the ground, the two exceptional talents both bowed their heads. Lanichen said with a low voice, you won't enslave us for a lifetime right? Otherwise, I would rather accept death. Shahao knew that after these two found out about his identity, a large part of their arrogance had been shaved off. They will naturally weaken a bit as well, once we leave Immortal Ancient, we will each walk our own path, no one owing anyone anything. In this place, I won't necessarily enslave you, only asking you two for help. When searching for your own natural luck, help me find a few holy medicines, immortal divine springs and other things. I need it quite badly. Shahao said. The two of them were speechless. It sounded too good, not even treating them like underlings and still leaving them with some benefits. I only speak the truth. None of you are servants, but my Tao friends. I won't seize your natural luck, only needing medicinal herbs and other things with great vitality. Shahao said with a smile. The two of them cursed silently. Was there this type of damn Tao friend in this world? Their bodies were about to be torn apart. What kind of Tao friends are made while being stepped on? All of their bones were about to be broken. In the end, the two of them were released. They both lowered their heads, agreeing to his mutual cooperation relationship. In the distance, when the cultivators that didn't completely leave saw this scene, they were both shocked. Two great exceptional talents truly surrendered. This was definitely shocking news, someone subdued exceptional talents. This is a major event. They were greatly shaken up. This would definitely stir up great waves. In the outside world, the cultivators of every sect were shocked, their eyelids jumping. Blue Gold Mountain Range, and Scarlet Province Luo family's people both secretly released a breath of air. Even though their clan's heroes were subdued, becoming servants, they still kept their lives in the end, in the end, they are still exceptional talents, so how can I not be worried? Shahao said softly, use the seed formation technique then. The divine striking stone said. This was a mysterious formation that was like planting a seed within one's body. It would grow roots and control their life and death. When the two exceptional talents heard this, their expressions changed greatly, all right. When Shahao understood this, he nodded, you, Luo Dao and Lan Chen both couldn't help but take steps backwards, their expressions becoming extremely ugly. After all, we are still not familiar with each other. In the beginning, I can only wrong you two. In the future when we know each other better, I will definitely help you guys get rid of it. Shahao smiled. In reality, he had been targeting these two the entire time. Unfortunately, one was a metal person, unable to be cooked and eaten, and even though the other had some vermilion bird blood within him, he was still a human form creature, which meant he didn't want to eat this person either. If I kill them, I can't eat them either. It's too much of a waste. If others knew what he was thinking, they would definitely be stupefied. This was just too strange, right? Meanwhile, if Lana Chen and Luo Dao knew what he was thinking, they would definitely be so angry they would cough out blood. The Divine Striking Stone had long came to the conclusion that once the blood sacrifices were carried out, the Great Formation might quickly break apart, or it might display some abnormalities, becoming even stronger. Right now, it was clearly the latter that happened. Lan Chen rolled out. Luo Dao's face became miserably pale as well, what is going on? They roared out angrily. This was just like sending themselves to death, a bit of unexpected things came up. It'll be fixed soon. The divine striking stone said. Lana Chen's body was quickly pieced back together again, the broken parts merging into metal liquid and then cooling. It wouldn't be long before he would be as good as before. This type of ability made even Shahao shocked. It was quite strange, almost like an undying body. As an exceptional level expert, he had unordinary methods and abilities after all, this exhausts foundation energy quite greatly. Lana Chen saw his shining eyes and felt worried, fearing that Shahao might make him explore the formation with his life, forcefully entering to pick the medicine. Shahao nodded, not saying much. He used the dual pupil to look around. If Lana Chen's primordial spirit was destroyed, he would still die, the undying body losing its effectiveness. The great formation shone, continuously flickered with all types of symbols and releasing terrifying energy. This made these people shocked. This divine medicine really had developed a spirit after all, actually knowing how to use the formation, 
and guide the power of those blood sacrifices, playing with me. You are still too young. In a bit, I'll break your roots and eat your dumb vine. Let's see how you'll create a disturbance then. The divine striking stone threatened fiercely. In the medicinal field, the stalk of divine medicine continuously crawled about within the shining medicinal field. It was over a meter in length and the thickness of a thumb, snow white, sparkling, and carrying a flourishing aura of life. The medicinal fragrance was so thick it seemed like it wouldn't scatter. Silver splendor shone brilliantly. It was like a little dragon that sprouted leaves, vivid and lifelike. Right now, it was actually shaking its leaves, displaying fear and alarm, stop fighting back already. You can't escape. If you stop causing trouble, I promise I'll leave you with your divine root and allow you to live. Shahal said. Towards this type of priceless divine medicine that could only be encountered and not sought after, he didn't want to kill it either. Obtaining its medicinal stem was enough. What was shocking was that that snow-white void sky divine vine was unexpectedly nodding, its vine body swaying as if it was agreeing. Then, sure enough, the divine striking stone smoothly eliminated the final obstacles, come out yourself. Shahal and the others guarded outside. The void sky divine vine's root was pure white, almost transparent. The radiance was gentle to an almost dreamlike state. Its roots were pulled up, and like a moving dragon, it quickly moved over along the ground. It was extremely obedient, unexpectedly coming out from the hole in the great formation, crawling towards Shahal. Suddenly, there was a flash of white light. The void sky divine vine appeared again, rushing out from the great earth, fleeing towards the great formation. With a peng sound, it smashed into a barrier of light, unable to go back in, little bastard, I knew you wouldn't be willing to surrender. Regardless of whether it is the earth or the original root, I already covered them in formations. You can't run. The divine striking stone was immensely proud of itself. This was something Shah how specially warned it about after understanding the specialties of this type of divine medicine, having it secretly put down a formation. With a sure sound, Shahal reached out his hand, fast to the extreme, grabbing this divine vine. Its entire body was perfect, spotlessly white, and translucent like fine jade. Radiance sprinkled about, the rich medicinal fragrance making Shahal feel as if he was going to float into the air, as if he was going to sprout wings and ascend to immortality. Every single pore on his body was absorbing the rain of light. This was divine substance. It made his entire body feel relaxed and free of worry. The medicinal characteristics of this divine medicine was shocking beyond imagination. Only now did Shahal release a breath of relief. He never expected this stalk of medicine to be so crafty. Fortunately, he didn't act too carelessly, or else it really might have escaped, it was caught. Luo Dao couldn't help but swallow his saliva. An unmatched divine medicine landed in someone's hands, just like that before his very eyes. One has to understand that not many great sects, had this type of rare divine treasure, in all three thousand provinces of the higher realms. There were only a few fake divine medicines. Once the void sky divine vine emerged in the world, it would be enough for those ancient inheritances to go mad. The outside world even more so became like a boiling pot. Forget about true deities or heavenly deities, even a few sect masters' eyes changed, becoming incomparably deep. The auras they released were shocking. If not for the fact that they couldn't enter, there would definitely be a great battle over it, is this, true? Actually obtained a stalk of unmatched divine medicine. Hong Huang's beautiful eyes released brilliance, feeling a bit dizzy, as if this wasn't real. This stalk of divine medicine that could make the cultivators of all 3,000 provinces go mad landed in Shahao's hands just like that. It made Hong Huang feel as if she was dreaming. This void sky divine vine that was more than a meter in length wrapped around Shahao's arm, a brilliant snow white, its divine splendor dazzling like a white-colored great sun. It was at the very center of this sun, like a hibernating true dragon, I can now comprehend the Tao. Shahal was greatly moved, feeling incomparably excited. This was an unimaginably great harvest. Then, Lana Chen and Luo Dao left. Shahal set a certain time to meet again with them. As long as they sent over a stalk of holy medicine every so often, they could keep all of the remainder for themselves, time to leave. Shahal brought the divine striking stone, Emperor Butterfly with him, leaving from this place, avoiding everyone with extreme speed. After making one last trip around this place, he silently returned to the blue stone paths, heaven and earth as the furnace, ten thousand Tao as the flame to burn the self, ignite the divine spirit, forge the true self.
Shahao said softly. He sat there, deciding to enter isolation cultivation to increase his own strength. Strands of chaotic mists pervaded the air. These three thousand ancient paths carried an aura of pastime. It was completely quiet. Shahao was sitting there, silently thinking to himself. Once he continued from here, it would be extremely dangerous. None of those that treaded on this path since the ancient times had good conclusions. Specks of scarlet multicolored light flickered about, shining with resplendent red light. This was a stalk of holy medicine that looked like red coral, something he seized from the hands of Underworld Clan. He brought it out and gave it to the distant Emperor Butterfly, youngster, you truly are prejudice. That is a stalk of holy medicine, yet you are giving it out so generously. I just wanted those few stones, yet it required so much effort from me, the divine striking stone said with discontent. Are you really saying this right now? Shahao shot at a look and said, regardless of whether it is the heaven's mandate stone or origin stone, which one of them won't shake the higher realms? They were all given to you. The divine striking stone no longer bickered with him, releasing a belch of being full on the spot. It then stopped talking out of embarrassment, the emperor butterfly turned into a golden streak, rushing over. It carried the red coral resplendent precious medicine and began to eat it. At the same time, it didn't forget to nod its head towards Shahao in gratitude, I already said that once we enter Immortal Ancient, I will help you find all types of precious medicines, allowing you to undergo a transformation. Shahao said with a smile. The Emperor Butterfly had previously helped him greatly in Fiend Island, leading the bug races to look all around. Its usefulness and power left him completely shocked back then. Apart from this, Shahao also wanted to see how strange and powerful this legendary Emperor Butterfly would become once it transformed and matured. Based on the vague records in Bone Books, only a single emperor butterfly had ever appeared. It came from the depths of the uninhabited region, and then entered the lower realm. There weren't many records of its combat prowess, but with just a single move of its wings, three heavenly deities turned into ashes, their auras wiped out. It was precisely this instance that was remembered by people of later generations. Of course, it was only remembered by the people of the lower realm. In the following few days, he didn't move, as if he was completely petrified. There wasn't even a slight bit of fluctuation. He was adjusting himself, at the same time completely nursing all of his injuries and reaching the optimal state before continuing this process of igniting a Tao fame, achieving a transformation. A cool breeze blew past, hazy mists slowly spread. On the fifth day, the bluestone path was no long peaceful. Strand after strand of weak light turned into symbols, gathering towards one area and surrounding a youth. One path, two paths. Soon after, a hundred and eight paths had been reached. Fiery light burned, drowning him within. This place became resplendent with radiance. Upon closer inspection, one would find that the flames were covered in symbols. Patterns interweaved and linked up to form an exuberant blaze, wrapping around Shahao. This was what he had already experienced, and now that he was walking this path again, it no longer damaged his body. True danger is going to arrive from here on forward. Shahao took a deep breath. As a result, fiery light surged, entering his stomach from his mouth and nose. His entire body surged with divine flames. King Cheong. Shahao began to form the cauldron furnace, using the world as its material, cutting off part of the void to form a great artifact, using this to refine himself. The void distorted, becoming indistinct. A furnace slowly took form, wrapping him within. Then, it began to gather the force of heaven and earth, forming a simple and ancient artifact. The other blue stone paths shone. There were symbols that extended outwards and fiery light that gathered, burning this cauldron. Radiance shone in all directions, rushing into the clouds. This ancient place was no longer calm. Shahao's life and death trial had begun. The Tao flames were increased, added one after another. They were like divine chains of hope, but also like divine chains of death as they revolved around him. A hundred and nine, a hundred and ten, they were increased one after another. As time went on, it had reached 150. Shahao felt like the flames were difficult to endure, his entire body in intense pain, about to be burned through. This was a life and death grinding after all. He had just added a few dozen, yet his body was already injured. There were still so many left to go, so how was he going to complete this process? He didn't feel dejected, however, nor did he become discouraged. He resolutely advanced step by step. He was going to succeed. There was hope within his heart, divine light shining brilliantly within his eyes. 
His will was still firm. A hundred and eighty streaks. Fiery light burned the heavens. At this moment, all those who saw this scene from the outside world were moved. Only a few dozen streaks were added, yet the power increased by such a great amount. Only after many days had passed did he get used to this type of burning. There wasn't much left of his flesh that could be burned further. Black-colored old skin wrapped around his bones, many of the patterns within the flames engraved on them. They roamed about like dragons, scattering over his entire body. Shahal felt a feeling of transcendence. Even though he was on the verge of being destroyed by fire, he felt as if he could free himself from his flesh and observe everything objectively. Sometimes, he would even forget the suffering and only feel a type of comprehension towards the Tao. After a long time had passed, the two hundred streaks of fiery light were extinguished. The furnace cauldron collapsed, and Shahal fell onto the ground, Youngster, have you gone mad? The divine striking stone rushed over. The emperor butterfly carried its holy medicine that it hadn't finished eating yet, turning into a streak of light as it flew over to his side, looking extremely worried. Don't worry. Shahal got up. Apart from his humanoid shell, almost none of his former appearance could be seen. Black skin was cracking, his eye socket sunken. He had completely withered up. Moreover, there are two hundred spheres of light burning ferociously, continuing to burn there, just some small injuries. I'll be fine with a few days of rest. Shahal said. These were naturally not small injuries. His entire body was full of holes, the damage serious to the extreme. He now had close to a hundred flames more. The power increase was not as simple as additive, instead being much more profound. If he hadn't already become a deity, which allowed his strength to increase greatly, he would have definitely been burned into ashes, truly being burned away. I don't have time to waste. Everyone is advancing, increasing their cultivation. I have to nurse my injuries as quickly as possible. Shahal produced a stalk of holy medicine. Now wasn't the time to hesitate. Even though holy medicines were precious, he could only treat them as rations. The divine striking stone and emperor butterfly backed up, not saying much, only offering protection for him, watching carefully. A half-meter-long black-colored holy vine appeared in Shahal's hands. Its leaves were all hound-shaped, precisely the hound leaf vine. When its leaves moved with the wind, dark light would flourish, and the barking of hounds could be heard. Shahal devoured the leaves one after another. His entire body erupted with dark light, the reflection of roiling medicinal characteristics. It quickly rushed at his four limbs and bones, covering all of his injuries and recovering his body. Holy medicines could restore flesh to white bones, bring one back from the brink of life and death. They possessed heaven-defying miraculous effects, and could even more so nurture the primordial spirit. Shahal quickly transformed. His life aura gradually flourished. His old skin flaked off, and he began to autonomously absorb the essence between heaven and earth. His entire body gradually swelled up. However, the price for this was great as well. He used up several days of time and ate a small half of the holy medicine before his body's holes began to heal, gradually recovering. If it were other injuries, just a mouthful of the holy medicine would have been enough. However, he had to eat a small half, you are just slowly killing yourself like this, the divine striking stone said. This path was too dangerous. It had just begun, so what was to come would only be more and more difficult. When the four hundred streaks of fiery light finished burning, Shahal devoured the half stalk of golden grass, as well as an entire stalk of desert silver, but he still felt like he was lacking a bit. So he stewed another dozen flood dragons and ate them all, only then did his primordial spirit become fully restored, how terrifying, the injuries are becoming more and more severe, and the consumption is becoming more and more formidable as well. You don't have any holy medicines left, use them all up. The divine striking stone said. The emperor butterfly flew over, handing the red medicine to him. There was only a bit left, no need, I still have a stalk of the void sky divine vine. Shahal gently stroked it with his hand, his smile gentle. The divine medicine was astonishing. The radiance the void sky heavenly vine released was as resplendent as a great white gold sun. It hibernated within the light like a true dragon. After five hundred streaks of fiery light burned him, Shahal's condition deteriorated greatly. However, after eating a single snow white leaf, his body released pipa sounds, and his blood energy surged again soon after. When six hundred streaks of fiery light went out, Shahal ate a leaf of the void sky divine vine and a bit of the tip, and then he recovered once again. As the fiery light continuously increased, 
he could feel himself becoming more and more powerful. This type of feeling was extremely wonderful. When the 900th streak of fiery light finished burning and Shahao devoured a bit of the void sky divine vine, he saw scenes one after another. These were the engravings within the leaf and vine. He immediately became shocked, what is this? He was greatly shaken. The scenes were too shocking, you promised that you wouldn't completely eat me. The void sky divine vine used a special wave to communicate with him. Shahao nodded and said, I already said before that I wouldn't let a divine root like you just disappear. Just using some of your vine leaves to treat my great Tao injuries. The void sky divine vine was a stalk of divine medicine that had lived for endless years. So it had naturally seen many strange things. It had witnessed the most outstanding people walk on the path of undying. There is someone who can live forever in this world without dying. Shahal's voice was trembling. Based on what he knew, regardless of whether it was the war emperor or the six great celestials, none of them were able to tread on that path. Even Fiend Island's unsurpassed demonic sovereign failed, you can look at it carefully yourself. The void sky divine vine shone. The way it communicated with Shahao was extremely special, not through words or divine will, but only through a type of light. After the endless passage of time, it had seen too many things. As a divine medicine, those that possessed it were naturally all unmatched heroes. They left behind a few imprints that would not fade. The scenes were fragmented, not linked up at all. A person appeared, his gaze, and his style made one feel admiration from the heart. It was difficult to describe. This was a black-clothed person that gazed high into the sky. Around this individual, lightning surged in tens of thousands of streaks, as if great rivers were overflowing. However, he was without fear. He opened his mouth, and with one breath, the sea of lightning entered his mouth, heavenly tribulation. Shaha was sure that this was not an ordinary lightning Dao secret method, but true lightning tribulation. It was divine judgment sent down from the heavens. Even more ferocious thunder and lightning descended, forming a vast body of water. The entire great earth was unexpectedly covered, the heavens itself crushing down. This left Shahao shaken. How great of a heavenly calamity was this? It was simply like the destruction of the world. The black-clothed male's hair flew about. He looked around thirty years of age, his eyes deep, carrying a profoundness of great time, as well as a lofty aura of overlooking the world, as if he was the sovereign of all. This was clearly an unmatched figure. When faced with this great disaster that covers heaven and earth, he pointed towards the heavens. As a result, the void began to collapse, and the endless lightning completely disappeared, cleanly erased. These types of methods, this type of might, it was simply unimaginable. Even though these were imprint fragments, that type of oppressive might and aura seemed to have transmitted from the ancient past. It was deeply engraved within Shahao's heart, leaving him shaken. This person was too strong. Even heavenly tribulation was stopped with a single finger. Then, chaotic energy surged. The lightning that descended from the heavens changed. It was accompanied by chaotic light, crashing down as if a great river was pouring downwards. That black-clad male had a graceful bearing and exuded confidence. His eyes were profound and unfathomable, defying the heavens and rushing upwards, directly charging towards the stars in outer space, pushing back all of the lightning tribulation. Is he crossing a tribulation to become an immortal being? Shahao asked. The starry domain became dim, because those great stars withered one after another, bringing about ruin. It became a place of death. This was a terrifying conclusion, a miserable end, who is he? Shahao asked, Yi Chien Yu. The void sky divine vine released a deep sigh, E.N. This name seems a bit familiar, I seem to have heard it before. Shahal thought to himself, and then he was alarmed. He suddenly raised his head and said, Someone from the Yi Emperor clan in the archaic era. Correct, the Yi family's most powerful expert, their most powerful existence Yi Chenyu. Void sky divine vine said. It had previously witnessed this with its own eyes, because it was precisely in that cauldron. As a divine medicine, it still couldn't rescue that exceptional individual's life, because it was never even given the chance to do so, you, weren't you born in immortal ancient? Shahal was shocked. I was brought into this place by someone. The void sky divine vine said calmly, these imprint fragments, Shahal frowned. The void sky divine vine had a few other imprints within its body. There were a set of imprints that were extremely shocking. A white-clad male with sharp eyebrows that reached to his temples could be seen. Every action he displayed released a domineering aura that moved heaven and earth, 
overlooking ten thousand eras. It was still a scene of tragedy. This hero that dominated an era also entered the depths of the universe, surrounded by starry streams, overlooking the nine heavens and tenth earth. He opened his mouth and roared. Starry streams moved about, and great stars exploded. He was hacked until he was covered in bloody injuries, but he persevered until the end, succeeding. When the lightning radiance retreated, his primordial spirit leapt out, wishing to use the remaining lightning radiance as a baptism. However, it was right at this moment that a shadow drifted over, surrounding that region. One could vaguely hear an unmatched hero roar out with reluctance. When everything calmed down, that person was no longer there. Only, that primordial spirit went from being resplendent to as black as ink. It then entered his head, and with incomparable difficulty, he took, one step. After one step, the pagoda that he cultivated with his life split apart. The fragments quickly rushed towards the three thousands provinces. In the skies, this person's pupils were as black as his primordial spirit, giving the higher realms one last stupefied look. Then, later generations never saw him again, who is this person? Ancient era emperor clans Mo Wudao. Void sky divine vine said. Shahal was greatly shaken. As expected, it was another great figure. He had heard of this person, read about his existence from the bone books Qi Daolin gave him. He was known as one of the ancient era's most powerful existences. What was going on? This type of person reached the peak of divine Dao, and was about to achieve immortality. So why did these sudden changes happen? When he thought back to the scene from just now, Chahal felt a chill run down his back. He always felt like there was something ominous, a type of extremely horrifying feeling. Was that an accident? I did not personally witness it this time. The void sky divine vine said. When it recovered its freedom, it discovered a fragment of Mo Wudao's divine pagoda within some mountains and rivers. After taking root there, it seized a few fragmented scenes. Shahal had always been contemplating this problem. There were people from immortal ancient who became immortals, existing forever with the world, not dying, not being extinguished. However, no one in this era was able to do so. He had previously obtained many answers, but not of them were complete. Soon after, he thought about Fiend Island's demonic sovereign, who also ended up like this. In this era, it wasn't that no one could achieve immortality, but because there were strange unforeseen events, what exactly is it? Shahal frowned. His heart shivered. This world truly was strange, with too many things unknown. It made him uneasy. He then thought of Willow Deity, recalling the words that it had spoken before. Once one took that step, it would be unimaginable. The most terrifying things would happen, did Willow Deity experience it before as well? Shahal was shaken. He had heard the conversation between Willow Deity and the Little Pagoda before, but back then, he didn't pay too much attention to it. Now that he thought back to it, he found it difficult to calm down. The Little Pagoda had vaguely said before that the Willow Deity might be the only existence that survived after experiencing that if you comply with your promise, then I will tell you an even more useful piece of information. The Void Sky Divine Vine said anxiously. It truly was a bit uneasy, fearing that Shahal would completely eat it. I am a man of my word. You don't have to be scared. Shahal said, the path you are taking right now will most likely result in danger, possibly producing a strange change. Dot. Void Sky Divine Vine unexpectedly spoke these words, immediately making Shahal dumbstruck, talk about it in more detail. In the past, the Void Sky Divine Vine originally recovered its freedom, but later on, it entered the uninhabited region. As a divine medicine, its earth escape technique was astonishing. Unfortunately, it was unlucky. At that time, Immortal Ancient had just opened, the Immortal Dao flower bud blooming. There were supreme experts everywhere. He was caught by someone and brought into Immortal Ancient. I've had several owners in the past, followed a five-crown king, accompanied a great formation master. When Shahal heard this, he couldn't help but become shocked. What I am saying is that there were those like you in the past who wished to become deities through offbeat methods. They were all heaven-defying, but in the end, strange changes happened. The Void Sky Divine Vine had followed Five Crown King, a heavenly talent that shook the past and present. He wanted to use the Five Elements source to become a deity, and as such, he searched throughout the entire world, appearing five times. He gathered anything related to the Five Elements, piling them up like a mountain. Any types of chaotic earth, primordial water, every single item was extremely heaven-defying. 
The most shocking thing was that he had still even obtained certain origin matter from before the world was opened. If one merged with this, using it to ignite the self, it would have definitely been completely shocking. When Shahao heard this, he was extremely shocked. Using the source of five elements as a baptism to carry out a transformation, this was naturally shocking. Five elements, this included everything. It was clear that this five crown king was formidable, a figure that was above thousands of past generations. That time, something unexpected happened when he only merged two elements. It was originally just a test, but in the end, he had to wait all the way until this final era before the five elements would all link up. Something unexpected happened when he was just testing things out, leading to something like this happening, what kind of accident? Shahao asked, a strange change happened. The void sky divine vine said. It had personally witnessed this. The first time, that five crown king faced a comparatively smaller strange change. He stopped then, feeling quite shocked. Then, he continued to test things out, proceeding down that path, still succeeding. However, after this happened several times, his eyes began to lose luster, becoming a deathly grey. Then, this person departed, disappearing. The void god divine vine didn't speak about it in great detail, because it was too scared at that time. It escaped into a faraway formation, as if it had experienced Yi Qianyu's archaic disaster again. It felt incomparably fearful. The previous great era was called Immortal Ancient. It already no longer existed, buried in the past. Rumors had it that this place was related to the destroyed Immortal Ancient. As such, this place was given the name Immortal Ancient, using the name of a past great era. It is easy for strange chances to take place here, while the path you are taking is different. Even though it isn't enough to shock the world right now, if you continue, there might be some problems. The Void Sky Divine Vine reminded, there was actually this type of saying, Shahao was stunned. He silently thought for a long time, and then he raised his head, saying, I want to see exactly what it will be. After nurturing his injuries, he continued breaking through. This time, he gathered over a thousand streaks of fiery light, burning his flesh and setting his primordial spirit aflame. This entire world immediately became more terrifying, devoured by divine light. At this moment, those watching him from the outside world were shocked. Shahal could no longer be seen, disappearing from the immortal Dao flower's petals. He no longer appeared on the monument, formidable after all. Everyone knew that the path he walked was extremely unordinary. The immortal Dao flower's petals covered everything, making it so that everyone couldn't see him. When the thousandth fiery light was extinguished, Shahao seemed already half dead. Only after taking some divine medicine did he pick up some life. However, nothing unusual happened. He preserved and nurtured his spirit, attacking at the thousand and one divine streak of fiery light, burning his true self. However, it was at this moment that the void sky divine vine, who was with the divine striking stone felt great fear, releasing fluctuations and crying out loudly, they have come again after all. The strange changes are about to happen again. In the void, a few abnormal things happened. There was a strange fluctuation that was like a ripple, but also like an ominous wind. It made the three thousand blue stone paths a bit dark and cold, what are you saying? The divine striking stone was alarmed. It was together with the emperor butterfly and void sky divine vine, protecting Shahao from the distance. Right now, it also sensed something, please let me go, I truly do not wish to face this type of scene again, the void sky divine vine was trembling all over. From the most powerful Yi Qianyu from the archaic era, then to the later generation five crown king, it had witnessed these ominous happenings more than once. The divine medicine could live for endless years, its life rather hard to extinguish. As such, it had seen many things that left it with a deep impression, hurry and wake up. The divine striking stone and void sky divine vine screamed loudly, trying to wake Shahao up from his state of Tao comprehension, not wishing for him to burn away his true self. A type of danger had arrived, one that might decide life and death. The three thousand blue stone paths had over a thousand streaks of fiery light converge. Symbols jumped about, mysterious like creatures. They flickered with a metallic luster and flowed with the aura of great Tao, forming a sea of flames made of natural Tao. Fiery light surged, burning heaven and earth. Shahal continued to sit there, submerged under the terrifying flames. It was who knew how many times more dangerous than in the past. The heaven and earth furnace was already burnt until it was warped, about to collapse. In reality, Shahao already sensed something, feeling the irregularity. 
Ever since he learned of those past matters from the void sky divine vine, he already started to remain vigilant. Only, he never expected it to arrive so quickly. It came without any omen. Close to a thousand streaks of fiery lights retreated. The large amount of symbols scattered, entering the bluestone paths. Peace was returned to this place. All of you, back up. Shahal had them stay a bit further away, and not get close to him. A serious expression appeared on his face as he stared forward. The unknown was the most terrifying. Even now, they didn't know who the enemy was. Meanwhile, a few exceptional individuals since the ancient times had died because of it. It truly made one's heart go cold. The grey mists drifted over, approaching Shahao, carrying with them an endless gloomy coldness. At this moment, Shahao's fine hairs couldn't help but stand on end. He almost felt like a pincushion. There was no need for anyone to describe it in great detail. This was definitely an indescribably terrifying atmosphere. After being burned so viciously just now, over a thousand streaks of Dao flames burning his flesh, now, it was as if he had fallen into an ice house. These were two completely different extremities. This was only the start. When the wisps of mist thickened and the grey fog gradually became more concentrated, this type of chilliness reached the extreme. Suddenly, grey mists surged frantically, pouring over from the distance, cutting off what laid before him. It immediately made this place hazy. Changes quickly took place between heaven and earth, the coldness reaching the extreme. Even Shahao's powerful body felt like it was being frozen, all of his fine hair standing on end, and a layer of goosebumps covering his skin. At this moment, there was a great fear. The gate to the underworld seemed to have opened up, and it was gradually closing in on the human world. It appeared before Shahao, about to seize him and bring him away. His eyes were resplendent. Symbols appeared, turning into beams of light as he stared there. The Martial Dao Heavenly Eye, even though it still hadn't truly formed, was still quite unordinary. However, aside from the grey fog, Shahao couldn't see anything. There were no creatures, no sinister things. He couldn't lock onto this strange enemy. He stood there calmly without moving, steadily facing these great changes. The great fog surrounded him, and then it began to contract, about to submerge him within, be careful, you definitely cannot let the fog approach your body, not even a wisp. This was the void sky divine vine's final warning. Then, it hid behind the divine striking stone, no longer daring to come out. This video will end here. Thank you for watching.